Hi everyone. Um, I'll just wait to see if anyone comes on before I start. I hope you're all enjoying the lovely videos that the I Heart Darden Up um, page is putting up for you on this Walk on the Wild Side day. Um, I hope you're getting some beautiful tips and some lovely, beautiful connection that you'll be doing with your animal companions. So, yeah, um, I'm hoping that this is working okay. So, um, yeah, I might just wait a few more minutes to see if anyone jumps on and joins me. So if you're here, please um, let me know that you're here and then I'll get started. Um, yeah, anyway, hello everyone. My name is Megan and I um, and am an animal communicator um, and I've been doing this work for over 10 years. It started um, because I was doing psychic work and um, yeah, many, many, many years ago, probably back right back in um, 2006, um, there were some people that I connected to and they were doing animal communication and as soon as I heard about it, it just, my heart opened and I'm like, oh, I just want to try this. So, um, yeah, it just sort of blossomed into me learning and growing and realising that, you know, I was getting, um, <laughs> hello, I was getting, um, you know, information from them. I just want to know that this is working. Um, yeah, let me just just want to make sure that this is all working, and I'm not just sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> um, yeah, so bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. This is quite new to me. Normally, I do do um, live videos on my own Facebook page. So um, being on the, the um, I Heart Darden Up page is sort of a little bit new to me. So um, yeah, so, so Rachel, am I all on? Is it all okay? Are we all going? Can you, can you comment? Am I seeing any comments? I'm not seeing any comments. Just want to make sure that I am all okay. Before we get up and do some you get to do some animal communication practicing today. Um, Welcome to our live the, dog agility workshop. I'm watching the dog agility now. So yeah, I just want to check to make sure that I'm all, all on. Um, I've got people messaging me on the post that I just put up, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure that the the live. Okay, all right. Well, I can see the comments on my phone, but I can't see them on here. So, all right, let's let's keep going. That's cool. So that's I don't know why it's not working. I'm on my um, iPad, but that's okay. I can see them on my phone. Okay, all right. So yes, um, my name's Megan, and yeah. Um, I, ever since the day I've been born, I've been connecting to animals. Do you want to come up and say hi? Come on. Come on, Danny. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> They're both fighting over who's going to come up first. Um, yeah, and it's just something that, that intrigues me and I just love doing it. So I just want to have, talk a little bit about what animal communication is. So it's um, intuitively connecting to animals through thoughts, pictures and words. Um, everybody can do it. It's just a matter of you practicing and um, getting quiet and trusting what you're getting. So it does take take um, practice, but it's such a beautiful way to be able to connect to your animal companion. So this is Nala. I'm not going to say too much about her because I'd love for you guys to practice a little bit on animal communication with her. Um, so yeah, so it, it all starts from, you know, getting quiet and learning to pretty much meditate and just getting all of that chatter out of your head, um, you know, and learning to trust, you know, your intuition, your thoughts, your feelings, you know, you might get, get feelings, you might get 
words, you might get visions. Um, but yeah, you know, it all starts with, you know, knowing and understanding and trusting that, you know, these little animals have got feelings, they've got thoughts, they've got ideas, they've got desires. Um, you know, they're, we're all living in this beautiful world all together and being able to actually connect on a deeper level to these beautiful companions that we've got at home is just such a beautiful and amazing thing you know not only to find out you know if they're happy or if they're sad um but also you know when maybe something's gone wrong um you know maybe they're they're not well and you just sort of want to find out how they're feeling um i've worked with some beautiful animals that um are getting re ready to transition you know going up to heaven and you know being able to get quiet and communicate with them and then being able to relay those messages to their um, their owners you know about how they're feeling maybe how they want to pass away are they ready to pass away um, you know that's a big thing that that I wish I could have known you know even like five pushing it out to ten years ago with some of my animals that I've lost already um, you know, being able to communicate with them, you know, are you ready to pass away? Are you ready to, um, you know, are you ready to go? How would you like to go? Would you like me to help you? And sort of things like that. But, you know, also little things like, you know, it's, it make it fun. Like, you know, where do you want to go for a walk today? You know, they might show you an image of the park. They might show you, you an image of the ocean. Um, you know, how, how's your food? Do you like what food I'm giving you and things like that? So um, I'll tell you an example of um, what happened with my cat, which he decided he didn't want to be on here today. Um, but he's this beautiful ginger um, tomcat and well, we were just fighting with each other over food. You know, I'd buy him this food and he wouldn't need it. I'd buy him another brand and he wouldn't need it, you know. And I was getting really, really frustrated with him and like, you know, worrying that I was wasting money and stuff like that, you know, and I just didn't want that horrible um, feeling within my home. Um, you know, one day I was just like, you know, it's probably only last year. I was like, what am I doing? Just quiet myself, sit in that silence and communicate with him. And I pretty much just asked, Simba, what food would you like me to give you? And I heard, I want fish. And it's like, well, I am giving you fish. And he goes, no. I want fresh fish so um you know then then he was we were able to find somebody that so, sell sold fresh fish and you know he was really really happy and it just changed the whole energy of the household so you know little things like that you know you might have a cat or a dog that's weeing on the carpet and you don't know why to be able to you know communicate with them why are they behaving or acting in a certain way is what I really love um, working with as well um, you know you might what I also love doing as well is doing emotional freedom tapping um, my little dog just loves looking out the window and barking um, so, you know, you might have, um, say, a rescue dog or you might have a very nervy dog or you might have a dog that, you know, reacts when you go walking and things like that. So to be able to, one, communicate with them on how they're feeling and why they're acting the way that they are, but also being able to do some beautiful emotion freedom technique tapping. So it's, you know, like you go through all the points. I'm not going to um, show you much of it today. I can do it maybe another day. But, you know, it's a, it's a big releasing of, you know, like, for example, my little girl, Chloe, which I'll bring up here in a minute because we're going to do some communication with these guys. Um, she got attacked by a dog down in the dog park. And, it you know, I was every single time we went to go for a walk, you know, I was like a nervous wreck. So I learned about this tapping. Do you want to hop down for a minute, Danny? No, you want to stay? Um... And, you know, it's pretty much you start with a karate chop. So, I mean, I'll, I'll do a little bit of it today because I'm sort of talking about it. So, say, you know, you're fearful of something that's going on. Come on, pop down. Um, so, I'll do a little bit of an example of, you know, how I was feeling. You know, you may feel like you're going for a walk and you're, like, worried about all the other dogs around you. You're like, are they going to attack my dog? You know, am I safe kind of thing. So, you know, you start with a karate chop and it's, you know, talking about exactly how you're feeling you know like for me it was like my anxiety was like on a scale of you know one to ten ten being um you know 
really extreme was how I'm feeling and one being not so bad, you know, hardly anything. So I was 10. I was really like worrying and stressing that she was going to get attacked again. So all those, you know, all your, I'm anxious, I'm worried, is she going to get attacked again? What's going to happen? Oh my gosh, I can't go out for a walk. I'm just sh shaking all the time. I don't like this. So it's all your fear. So you start tapping through all your fear. Oh my gosh, I'm just so nervous. I'm so scared. I'm so nervous, I'm so scared that something's going to happen. I'm so fearful, I'm so fearful that something's going to happen. My goodness, what's what if it's going to happen again? What if it happens again? What if I can't keep my dog safe? What if I can't keep my dog safe? Oh, I don't want to go walking anymore. I don't want to go walking. So you go through, so we start with the karate chop. And you go to the top of your head, above your eyebrow, to the side of your eye, underneath your eye, under your nose on your chin, your collarbone, and under your arm. And then it just starts and you continue to keep going. So you, you continue to keep doing what's fearful. What are you fearful? How are you feeling? Okay, so you might this might take you a minute. It might take you five minutes. But what I tend to find is, you know, keep, I'm so worried that it's going to happen again. My gosh, I won't be able to keep her safe. What if she dies? What if, you know, all these motions just keep tapping through it. And what you'll find is all of a sudden there'll be a bit of a release. Oh, it's all okay. We're okay. We can go walking. It's all all right. We'll be fine. I'm fine. She's on lead. She's, she's safe. It's all okay. I can let this go. I can let this go. And it's all okay. And we're safe. It's all okay. I can let this go. I can breathe and I can let this go. So continue to do that until you feel just that little bit of releasing. And it may take, you. it took me probably nearly a month to feel that confident enough to be able to go for a walk. And I did also, Can you can tap on animals as well that may be in this fearful state. You can tap on them with how they may be feeling. You know, and that's where using the animal communication and the EFT tapping intermingled and combined works beautifully. So, um, yeah, so I love to see, you know, we've got some people watching. Um, have you guys got any questions? Is anything that you would like to know about animal communication? Because we're going to do a little bit of it at the moment, in a minute. Now, um, you know, I don't want you to think, oh, I can't do this. She's been doing it for over 10 years. You, Yes, you can. Okay, it's just a matter of getting quiet and allowing all the chatter to go out of your head. And we're going to do a beautiful meditation in a minute. But to practice, it all comes down to practice and it all comes down to trusting what you receive. Okay, so is there any questions, any questions you guys about, you know, animal communication or anything before we sort of jump into doing a bit of a meditation and some animal communication? Anything you want to ask? Because I can see your comments now. Yay! Hi Roslyn, hi Lee, hi Rachel. Hi Rhonda, is there, is there anything that you guys want to know? Communicating with my dog, <laughs> does that mean that you want to communicate with your dog? Or uh, I put a photo on your other post with a photo of my boy Harvey who passed um, last year, can you connect? Um, we'll see how we go with time, but I really, I really, really, this is about you guys today. You know, I really, really want you guys to be able to start feeling that you can connect and you can connect through photos, okay? You can connect, it's the same, because um, what you're doing is you're connecting to the energy, okay? You're connecting to pretty much their essence. Now you can do it with animals that have passed away, it's exactly the same. You're still connecting through the photo or, you know, your animals, if they're still alive, might be here and you can connect with them. They don't need to be in the room. You don't even need to be in the same place. That's what's so beautiful about connecting through photos. I've done animal communication from animals overseas. It's just by looking at that picture, you're connecting to the energy, you're connecting to their essence, and then you can communicate with them. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Finding out what my dog has to say. Yeah, I mean, it's so beautiful. That's that's the whole beauty of doing animal communication, okay? Um now you might find my my dogs are quite funny. It'll be interesting what you guys pick up on today. But um, 
some dogs are like blah, 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 blah. some dogs are just like yeah i'm cool you know i'm fine so you know this is i don't really know what's going to happen with with what we're going to be doing today and what you guys receive i want you to just have a go and trust so the first thing i want you to do are you ready we're going to do a little bit of a meditation to you know just ground ourselves to take away all the chatter from around our head and breathe okay so Put my beautiful meditation music on. So if you're able to if you're able to be able to stop or be able to just B and C. I know that some of you may have children at home. Hey, get them to do it too. Kids can do animal communication too. It's beautiful to do it with kids. So let's all just, wherever we are, just taking some deep breaths, really breathing in from our beautiful underneath our belly button. You may want to put your hands on there. And just breathing in and letting go of all the tension. All the stress. Breathing out all the worry. Breathing in and putting maybe all the things that you're thinking you need to be doing today or after this. And breathing in and letting all that go. You may feel that you want to put all your thoughts, what's happening in your head, and place it into a box. And just put that box down beside you. And go, all my thoughts can go into that box. They can come back after this. more breaths <sighs> breathing out the last tension putting it in that box and now as we breathe we get quiet within our body Breathe our attention down to our feet. And we ask Mother Gaia to send beautiful roots down from the bottom of our feet and deep down into her soil. roots go down from the bottom of our feet feeling them go down into the soil and grounding us and mother Gaia brings her energy up through our feet and you start to feel her strength connection to all that is, her power and her love, start to flow up the back of your legs, up the back of your hips, up the back of your spine, feeling so much strength and supported and grounded. Feeling her energy go over the tops of your shoulders, up into the neck, the back of your head. Now it washes over the tops of your head, down the front of your face, your eyes, your nose. 
your mouth, down your throat, washing over your chest area, so much peace, strength and groundedness, heading down into your stomach. of your legs and back down into your feet. Now we ask God and the universe to shine its beautiful golden white light. And we breathe in and feel golden white light come down through the tops of our heads. Washing you over you like a golden beam of sunlight. You feel that sunshine's rays and golden white light over your face, your eyes, your nose, your mouth. And it washes down through your throat, down over your shoulders and your back. fingers, washing over your back, you feel peace, love and light and connection, so it washes down into your hips, down through your pelvis, down through your legs, and back down into that beautiful earth. And now feel your golden white light shine outwards. You may want to put your arms out. You feel the golden white light shining out into the world, into the space all around you. And you take some deep breaths, feeling very centered and grounded and full of love, light and peace. And when you're ready, slowly opening your eyes. So now you guys are in the perfect space, the perfect energy to be doing animal communication. Okay? So if you haven't already, go and get your notepad and pen and we'll start connecting. Chloe, Nala, come. Chloe, Nala. So can you give me all a thumbs up or um, something if you if you guys are ready to You've got your notepad and pen and you're ready to have a go. So exciting. Who's ready to go? You've all got your notepad and pen. You're all in this beautiful energy and space. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so this is Chloe. So what I want you to do so I just want you to, you may want to close your eyes, you may want to look at her. Let's see if we can turn her around, there we go. It's a beautiful face. And just breathe and go with the first thing you're getting. You may want to ask her, what is her favorite thing that she loves to do? pictures, you may get feelings. Where does she love to sleep? old 
what she is. <laughs> you may get a feeling of how she's feeling today. is of her favorite thing that she loves to do. Just trust, trust what you're getting and I'll give you a few more minutes just to connect with her and then you guys can share on the page. So if you're just joining this is Chloe. <laughs> Just trusting. Maybe ask her some questions. What's your favourite food? Where do you like to go for a walk? she have anything to say to you? Has she got a message for you? Are you going to say something to everyone? Yeah? So when you guys are ready, if you want to put up what you may have got from her, and we'll have a, I'll let you know how you've gone. We'll have a bit of a talk about it. Did you receive words? Did you receive you got that? Did you receive messages? Did you get feelings? Did you get visions? Did anybody receive anything? What about what's her favorite thing that she loves to do? Did anyone get an answer to that? Know that this video will be put um, up later, later on when you can watch it over and over and over again and continue to keep practicing and know that 
maybe you might want to connect to some people on here that have watched this live and ask them to send them send you a photo of their animals and then you can practice with their animals it's so beautiful doing with animals that you don't know because you you're learning to trust your intuition and trust what you're getting so does anyone want to share does anyone want to share what they got about chloe did anyone receive anything i hope it's still pretty sure i'm still receiving receiving um all the posts that you guys are the putting up so how did you all go haha <laughs> very good um, Eileen Dixon yes that's her favorite thing that she loves to do she loves to run and she loves to play ball so very good there you go. That's her most favorite thing. She absolutely loves running and she loves playing with the ball. So there you go. Who got ball? And everyone that got ball. Well done. That's her favorite thing that she loves to do. Um, she does love the beach. We don't really go down the beach that much, but she does really enjoy. She just loves running like anywhere that we can go. And she's off lead. She loves running. It's her favorite thing that she loves to do. Did anyone get what she likes to eat, how old she is. Anyone get anything else? She's so much fun. I love doing this. <laughs> Look at you guys. Well done. Well done, Rhonda. Rachel, are you still watching? Did you get anything, honey? Who's like excited that they got they got something who's who's like now like wow okay I can do a little bit of animal communication hey okay? it's just I love it it's just so much fun it's just playing like you don't need to be a professional it's just trusting what you're getting and who wants to do it again she has a curious personality um she does um you got a curious personality Chloe She's lying down there over on the floor now. If you want to still keep communicating with her, she's still here on the floor. Um, yeah, she's she reminds me of like almost like a, I suppose, yeah, you're right, like a little five year old. She's sort of, you know, the world is awesome. I just want to like explore everything. And yeah, so she is quite curious, little personality. Um, did anyone get like a feel of how old she is? That might be a little bit hard. How about, hmm, I'm not going to say too much. <laughs> what about chicken? <laughs> Favourite food. You know what? You can probably put anything. Chloe loves anything. Don't you, darling? Any food. You're going to come back up and say hello again? Come here. Okay, now I want you to go into, how is she feeling? I think she's six-ish she's oh my gosh she's actually four <laughs> okay but this is why I said it's with her age it could be quite interesting because I really truly believe and um, yeah, she's four well done Rosalind she's four yep um, I really do believe that my last little girl Jessie she was oh goodness I think she was about remember now 12 might have been 14 when she passed away um, unfortunately she got quite sick um, and she passed away but when she was passing um, no joke of a lie she I could feel her and see her and literally heard because she went blind I could hear her oh my gosh I can see and she was literally running around everywhere I could feel and see her little spirit running around everywhere after she passed away and she was so free and I truly believe that Chloe is um Jessie that's come back to me that's what I truly believe so I'm not sure if any of you guys sort of believe that kind of thing but um that's why her age is a little bit tricky because she's sort of been here two times with me so what about 
Anything else? Any Anyone get anything else? Did she say anything else to you? Did you get any other words? Do you want to try again? I'll go, I'll go get Nala. I'll go get Nala and then um, if you've got, if she told you, Chloe told you anything else, she can put it up. Nally, you gonna come? Nala. <laughs> All right, I'm hearing this. Let's do it this way. I'm gonna have to find it. Um, I want to show you that you can do it through a photo as well. I can find a photo. It's always a way, isn't it? Did try and have this all ready to go. So it's exactly the same thing by doing it with your animal companions as well. And I love that you guys got it right. I just love it. See, there you go. How clever are you? Okay. Let's see if we can get this. All right. So this is Nala. And I want you to do exactly the same thing as what you did when Chloe was here. Just to take some deep breaths. And connect with Nala's energy. You might like to ask her the same things. What is her favourite thing to do? Now I'm going to test you a little bit. What is Nala's past story? What feelings, words, or emotions do you get when you think about what is my past story? To write all this down. And then you may like to ask her, how is she feeling today? So write down anything that comes up, what you may be feeling, thinking, hearing. She may be communicating words to you. You may get a feeling in your stomach. You may get an emotion. She may show you visions like, almost like daydreaming visions. So you may want to look at a photo and then close your eyes and breathe. If you're struggling again, just ask her some questions. What is your favourite thing that you like to do? You may want to ask, where do you like to sleep? Is there any other messages that she's giving you? Just give you a few more minutes. Don't 
don't forget to breathe and go with the first thing that's coming to you. And if you're struggling and not feeling like you're getting anything, that's okay. Maybe you can do this again later. You might get something again later. Okay. So how did we go with Nala? Now I want to share what you may have received from Nala. And I want you to know that you can do this with your animals as well. You can take a photo of them and maybe go somewhere quiet and just sit and stare at their photo. You don't need to be present with your animal companions to do this. It's just you tuning into their energy and that's why I love doing it through photos because you're looking at the photo and you're tuning in to their energy by looking at the photo. So did anyone get something about Nala? Did you get what she loves to do? I'd love to know if anyone got anything about her past, how she's feeling about her past or how she felt about her past. Is anyone willing to share? How did you all go? <laughs> yes, she does like to sleep. Okay, did you pick up where she likes to sleep? Did you pick up on even now, like just, you know, go into and ask yourself, where does she like to sleep? Need the photo back again. Bring the photo back. And she's showing you like an image. Ha <laughs> ha! Beautiful. Well done, Rhonda. She loves sleeping underneath my covers in the bed. That's her one of her favourite places that she loves to sleep. <laughs> Surprised they're not here. Not there now, actually. Yeah. So there you go. Well done. Beautiful. Um, both my girls love, love going for walks off lead. Um, did anyone get anything else? This is so much fun. I think I'm going to do this weekly. <laughs> yeah, and I just, you know, I love being able to show you guys that, you know, you are actually connecting. You are receiving messages. And you can do this with your friends, animal com um, pets, you know, your animal companions, um, get somebody maybe connect to some of the people in here and as I said get them to send them send you photos of their animal companions I am ready to go go <laughs> well they are probably staring out the window at the moment and seeing all the other dogs walk past and probably going I really want to go for a walk too mm -hmm. let's see if we can get her to come up Molly come here I don't even know where she is at the moment Nala Who can tell me where she is? <laughs> where is she right at the moment? We can pick, on, pick up on the energy of what she's doing right now. I love smackos. Um, I don't really have smackos, but they love treats. I actually do a thing with them. Um, I wonder if anyone can pick up on that. What do we do with my two girls where they get treats for doing something? Can anyone pick up on that? Now that's, if you get that, I will be like, hallelujah, you're doing animal communication. <laughs> you are doing animal communication. Yeah. Um, what is one, what, what is the thing that when we go, when we go somewhere, what does Chloe and Nala get treats for doing? I wonder if anyone can pick up on that. Need the photo again. Doggy dancing. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Chloe loves doggy dancing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> did anyone I'd love to, to and maybe you might want to do this again later on did anyone pick up on anything about Nala's past I'm going to have to keep an eye on the time because I don't even know what the time is. Hang on. Oh, it's 12 o'clock. We've, like we've, we've gone for 45 minutes. Can you believe it? Can anyone pick up on Nala's past? I would love for you guys maybe to go back or um, if anyone wants to do this later on to... Try and tune into what her past was because that is one of the big things about, you know, being able to communicate with animals to be able to find out about their past. You know, you might get a rescue dog and would just like to know, you know, what happened to them in the past, you know, what what um, what went on for them. You know, I'd love to know just a little bit more about maybe why they're reacting to certain things or why they're doing a particular behaviour. So I applaud all you guys, um, girls, um, whoever's watching today, kids. I'd love, you know, for the kids to be doing this as well. Um, that, you know, there you go. You got some of the beautiful um, questions right. Um, did she get her leg hurt in the past? Um, I don't know. I don't know about... She may have done. I'm, I'm not too sure about, I haven't never, she's never told me anything about her leg. Um, here's a question for you. Has she always been living with me? So yeah, we're going to have to wrap it up. I hope you guys have had a bit of fun and I hope that, um, you know, I've encouraged you to communicate a little bit more and connect a lot more with your animal babies that you've got at home um, and to know that you can do this. Anyone can do this. It's just a matter of getting into that beautiful space, getting quiet within yourself, getting your notepad and pen and just having a go. No, you're right. She hasn't always lived with me. She could have hurt her leg in the past. Um, Nala was a lovely um, foster bale. Woohoo! Um, and I actually think she got, well, I actually know that she got um, a little bit abused in the past. We're still working through loud noises. Um, she's getting a lot better with me using the fly swatters. Not that I use them much, but um, any loud noises, even clapping your hands, she she will run away and hide. So that's why you know we're we're doing the EFT on her, like you know going through the whole loud noises are scary. I don't like thunderstorms. You know things like that with her, and then moving more into it's all okay. It's just noise. It's all fine. Megan's watching over me. It's all okay. I can breathe through this. I am safe and I am fine. Okay, so if anyone's got any questions or anything, I'd I'd love to, um, you know, learn more about their animal babies. You know, I'd love to connect with you. Um, feel free to send me a private message. Um, I hope that um, the Shire of Darden does this again because it's just been so much fun and. I just love that you guys connected with us today and connected to Chloe and Nala and maybe I'll meet you guys down in the park one day. All right, guys. Love and light for now. Thanks for joining in. See ya. Bye.